Alright. I'm going to be teaching all you who are interested how to play Love Is Not Enough by Owen, which has an awesome guitar part, which I love and I figured out and it's pretty sweet, so. song is played using a strange tuning. It's basically an open D chord, so what that means is you have D, A, D, F sharp, A, and then D. It's a nice sound like this. Alright, and then Owen plays it way up here, so capo on the 11th fret, which is kind of playing, kind of a pain to play in this upper region if you don't have a cutaway, but Owen does it on a hummingbird, so uh, anyone can do it. So, um, four pieces to the song that you need Owen, basically. Part one. So basically, relatively speaking, I've got the 4th and 5th fret of the D string. I'm talking relative to the capo. Do a little hammer on. Once you get that part, the next part's pretty easy. That's just this. three is just like this. Um, it's kind of like playing an E chord without any fingers on the D string, so it's an E7 shape. Kind of a hammer on motion. quickly because it goes like this part one part two part three and the last part is just an awesome super awesome pretty easy chord it's just two fingers but it's in a weird shape I like to use my second finger on the 5th fret of the E string and my 3rd finger on the 4th fret of the B string. Just get that dissonance here. Okay, we're back. So, part 4 is again second finger fifth fret of the E string third finger fourth fret of the B string and then the strum pattern is kind of like a down up down up up down up down up down up and then you just repeat the cycle part one
note that you need to know also, it changes at a couple points in the song. You get this chord with the uh, 2nd fret of the E string, 5th fret of the A string. And then it kind of walks up 4th fret of the E string. And then the 5th fret of the E string, 2nd fret of the A string. And it goes back to it. So... If you love the song and you've listened to it enough, you know exactly where that part comes. So, that's Love Is Not Enough by Owen.